formerly of the Carolina Panthers, back here on the Rich Eisen Show, one of the many highly talented Maryland Terrapins in the National Football League catching footballs. DJ Moore, good to chat with you, DJ. Good more. Good to be here, and, you know, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm, I bet you do. Before we get to it, how far did you have Maryland going in the tournament? How far did you have them going? Uh... I thought they were going to go to – I'm going to be uh, real honest. I didn't think they were going to make the Final Four, but uh, at least the Sweet 16. Mm. Well, they ran in Alabama. That's a problem. You know what I mean? I know. That was that was a big problem. Do you have any game? Do you have any basketball game? I played you? basketball a little bit, but not, not to the level of being in college to get a scholarship. Sure. So you did the right thing. You chose the right sport basically what you're saying yeah absolutely. Uh, fantastic so uh where were you when you found out you were suddenly thrown into this trade for the first overall pick dj uh i was i was in charlotte i was picking up packages uh and going home and then i was coming down my driveway and i got the call i was i was shocked when i seen it was scott calling and then when i picked up the phone they told me what was happening after that it was all bears uh organization calling me i bet so uh the general manager of the, of the panthers called you up and said hey man we love you but uh we're we're, we're sending you to chicago is that the message yeah that's basically and then it, that conversation was over fast and then i spoke with uh the panthers owners and dave and nicole and after that it was the goodbyes and it was on the being a bear were you surprised very i never i didn't think it was, was, was going to happen to me and uh but it did, so now I'm just on the forefront of just seeing the future with the Bears. All right, and before we turn the page to that, DJ, did you have any sense uh, that they were looking to trade up in the draft or that, that you were starting to think that my next quarterback was going to be a rookie in the NFL? Did you get that sense? Uh, with the trade, I wasn't thinking that like I was going to be included in it, but no, sure. I've seen little like inklings of the trade talk happening to go up to one. Right. But I was really thinking that my next quarterback was going to be a rookie, and now I got Justin Fields, so that's even better. I know. And before I turn to Justin Fields, I'm sorry I'm using you for our time to just pry a little bit. Any sense of uh, of who Carolina was <clears throat> talking about before you got traded and you were sitting there thinking my next quarterback's going to be a rookie, I'm staying here in Carolina. Uh, did you get any inkling who that kid might be? Uh, you got any sense? Know that. Uh, probably during the week of the combine, uh I was talking to Scott back and forth, uh, telling him who I liked and everything. So it was really all, like they never really told me who, right? But it was like all four of them uh, at the top. So they, just how they say, it, and they they got all four and mm-hmm. conviction of what, who they like. They, okay. they probably do. Got who Could they have like. been CJ to DJ, you know, like cut that there was there was sitting right there for him, but that's not going to happen now. But you have your yeah, own, it's not and it's not because you got your own Ohio State quarterback. Let's get to Justin Fields. What was your first conversation with him like, DJ Moore? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, he's he seemed really cool. Uh, we went to the Bulls game. Everything chopped it up. It was a uh, good times, and uh, he just said, "Looking forward to uh, working with me." Okay, whose seats did you go on? Mm, say that again. Whose seats did you go? on to go to see that game who seats uh the the bull the bulls owner oh okay reinsdorf yeah they they, they wow. rolled out the red carpet uh, oh. when i got there oh he opened up his velcro wallet for that one huh okay <laughs> all right so very good and it's so what do you guys talk about when it's you and mooney and uh chase claypool with the quarterback watching the bulls play f- um Really, just we all just looking forward to working with each other. They know that the skills that I bring is going to elevate everybody. Everybody's in the room, and even uh, in the like, even in different rooms in the offensive side, they just know that I'm coming ready to work and bring some fun with it. And and the fact that you're there, DJ, I'm sure um, Justin was breathing a a sigh of relief, even though he might have been read into the situation the entire time, because your arrival there. And the pick's departure means it's his gig still in Chicago. Did he? Did you have any conversations with him on that front about that subject matter at all? No, uh, no. Everything was really just uh, helping me get acclimated to the surrounding areas and everything. So uh, I'm pretty sure that'll come later on down the line. And 
Mm-hmm. But just for me being there, it was just, just seeing the city, just seeing where I'm going to be at. Uh, the facilities are great. The people were great. The organization is overly great, and I'm appreciative of it. Okay. So uh, when you were growing up, what was your team? I don't know if I've ever asked you that question before. What was your team uh, growing up? I really, I really didn't have a team. I know I grew up in Philly, and everybody's saying I should have been an Eagles fan, but I didn't really, really watch uh, the NFL growing up. I just maybe watched certain people highlights, but I okay. never watched the yeah. NFL. What are you doing? What do you mean you never watched an NFL game? Really? You never watched? Nah, no. I never. <laughs> what were you doing? What were you nah, doing? I never really watched it. My family used to watch them all the time, but I was just like, I had a PSP back then, so I used to be just playing games on that. I've never really watched the NFL. <laughs> what were you playing on your PSP, DJ Moore? What were you playing? Uh, like Midnight Club. Uh, okay. Stuff like that, like racing games, car games. So is, isn't it ironic then that you're you're a top notch National Football League receiver now and and gotten I don't know if you've had people there in Chicago come up to you and and I mean this is despite the Bulls and all those championship banners that you saw hanging in the United Center if that's what they're still calling it there you know and despite um, you know what whatever else the Cubs and the White Sox have been able to do there. <laughs> this is a you know folks from Chicago will tell you it's a Bears town and that if they win the yeah, Super they, Bowl this is this is you know it's going to be on uh have you gotten that sense already I I have gotten that sense I went out to eat and uh you know everybody knows who you are they they don't want to bother you there mm-hmm. but once I got up and was ready to leave I was I was greeted by so many people and uh they were just ecstatic that I was on on my way here and I know they're looking for a winning season and winning championships, so I'm going. To, I'm here to provide and and uh, push that. And what 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 do you want to tell fans in Chicago? What you're bringing to the equation? What do you, DJ Moore, bring to the equation? Uh, what I'm bringing, I'm bringing a lot of fun. That's one excitement, playmaker, and a guy that's just going to put it all on the line for the fans and the team. Okay, very good, DJ. Well, look, congratulations on being in your new digs. Don't be a stranger. Let's chat down the line. Um, and, you know, obviously you're f- from the Philly area and obviously in Carolina's and got beaches and what have you, but uh, this is a whole different ball of wax. The cold weather in Chicago is a different, different animal. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be prepared for that sort of thing, DJ. Yeah, I'm going to be prepared. I'm, I'm not worried about the cold. Too much. You. Good for you. Uh, thanks again for calling in. Congrats on everything going on with you. Thank you. You got it. That's DJ Moore, everybody, of the Chicago Bears right here on the Rich Eisen Show. There he is. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 